All right, so in this video, we're going to go ahead and look at how to do sinusoidal regression, okay? Because I don't know how to do that in Excel. And this was the question for you guys. Find me a program that does this. Because if you look, scatter plot, or I can just click on this exponential. If I wanted to tell it to do exponential, add trend line. Look at your options. Logarithmic, polynomial, power, etc. Um, so there's no sinusoidal there. So we have to use our calculator unless you can figure out a, another way to do it with a program like Excel or some online program. So we do the same thing. We, we edit our lists. Okay, so that's under the stat menu. First option, edit. And then you plug in all your data. Now this data will be for you um, days, days of the month or day one, uh, month one, day one, month two, and so on. Okay, so I'll just do a few here. And then my, my, the length of my days. So the length of my days, I don't know. I'll start at 12. And I'll go up 13, 14, and then back down. 13, 12, 11. Oops. Now, you'll have to show the scatter plot for this. Which you might want to do on your on the computer because you can get a little better scatter plot. I showed you how to do it in Excel, so you can plug in the data here, and it'll give you a nice scatter plot. Right? It should look something like a trig, some kind of trig curve, or you could do it on Desmos, or you can do it in the calculator. Okay, but the problem with the calculator is you need to print something and put it in your report. So you probably want to use Excel or Desmos, probably Desmos because then you're going to have to graph the function. We're using the calculator to get the equation of the function, which I'll show you how to do now. So you got your data in here, go back to stat, you go to calc. Just like we did with exponential regression, we're going to do, we're going to find sinusoidal regression on here. And there we go. I found it, sine ray, enter. I'm going to tell my calculator that I want the inputs from L1, the output's housed in L2, press enter, and it should give me the sine curve. Now, it looks like a mess, but here you have A, just like we've seen this sine curve before, right? A times the sine of BX plus C plus D. We may have called it different stuff, but your function then would be 1.39 sine of 0.95X minus 0.34 plus D plus 12. All right, that's the guy you're going to have to graph, and that should go through your points if you've done it all correctly. Remember, if you have any questions about any of this, shoot me an email, shoot me a text, let me know, ask me in class. We've got plenty of time to figure this out. Do not wait to the last minute.